Hi everyone, in this video, we're going to explain about application of second order of TE. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. We are from group 3 and we choose question 8 for our assignment. The question is, a vibrating string without damping can be modeled by the differential equation m y double prime plus k y equal to 0. If m equal to 10 kilograms, k equal to 250 kilograms per second square, y0 equal to 0 0.3 m and y prime 0 equal to negative 0 0.1 m second, find the equation of motion for the system. B. When the equation of motion is of the form displayed in A, the motion is said to be oscillatory with frequency beta over 2 pi. Find the frequency of the oscillating of the spring system of part A. For the introduction, simple harmonic motion or free undamped motion is a motion that is not affected by any forces such as air resistance, fraction, and gravity. The motion is only affected by the spring and the mass attached to the spring. However, there may be an initial velocity upward and downward that will affect the starting motion. In physics, simple harmonic motion was represented by Hooke's law where stated that as repetitive movement back and forth through an equilibrium or central position so that the maximum displacement on one side of this position is equal to the maximum displacement on the other side. The time interval of each complete vibration is the same. The force responsible for the motion is always directed toward the equilibrium position and is directly proportional to the distance from it. That is, F equal to negative Kx, where F is the force, X is the displacement, and K stands for constant. In this case, the second order of differential equation need to be applied in order to find the exact equation for the simple harmonic system. The purpose of this assignment is to find the equation of the motion for the system and the frequency of the oscillation. Coming up next, methodology. So, to solve this case study, we need to use three methods which are differentiation, substitution, and finding roots. Differentiation is a method that enables us to find rates of change. Substitution is a method of solving by substitution, roots by solving one of the equation for one of the variables, and then plugging this back into the other equation, substituting for the chosen variable and solving for the other. And the last one, finding roots. Finding roots by using quadratic equation is used when the roots are irrational numbers. So for differentiation, given y equal to a cos 5x plus b sin 5x, if we differentiate cos, it will become negative sine, and sine will become cos. So since it is respect to x, uh, we will multiply it by 5. Next, for substitution, x equal to 9. And the equation is x plus 2y equal to 12. So just substitute 9 into the into the equation x plus 2y equal to 12. Then you will get y equal to 3 over 2. And the last one is finding roots where we use the equation x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a where the a, b, c, we got from the quadratic equation a, x square plus b, x plus c equal to 0. And we will get either real roots, rational roots, or not real roots. So, manual equation. Based on the equation, the equation given is this one, which is second order differential equation and it's homogeneous where M is represent inertia and K is represent stiffness. In this question, the case is undamped free vibration where B, which is damping, is equal to zero and FT is equal to zero. 
the equation can be divided with m and we become like this and then we change k over m become omega square where omega is equal to square root k over m the characteristic equation has the roots which is this one this usually reduced to this one where we change square root k over m to omega from this you can obtain value of alpha is equal to zero and beta is equal to omega the general equation for this case is this one which is yt is equal to a cos omega t plus b sin omega t result and discussion physics is frequently regarded as the branch of science that studies both matter and energy exists physicists describe the interaction of matter and energy and how they interact with one another across space and time this relationship can be quantified using differential equation according to this study we use differentiation to find its rates of change as stated from the question we are model for a vibrating string without damping were given my prime plus ky equal to zero. We can conclude that the equation would be an homogeneous equation where ft equal to zero. By using the characteristic equation, we found that m equal to plus minus 5i. Thus, we can conclude that alpha equal to zero and beta equal to 5. Thus, the equation of motion is y equal to a cos 5x plus b sin 5x and y prime equal to negative 5a sin 5x plus 5b cos 5x. By using the substitution method, we found that a equal to 0 0.3 and b equal to negative 0 0.02. Thus, the equation of motion would be y equal to 0 0.3 cos 5x negative 0 0.02 sin 5. Based on the result, we all agree that the equation of motion for this study is a free oscillator where there is no damping involved and the spring amplitude is remain the same. In conclusion, second order linear differential equations are used to many situations, especially to the more complicated situation in physics and engineering. For example, in this problem, they are using Hooke's law which is represented by the second order differential equation. One of the classical applied problems in secondary differential equation is to determine the works for system of an object which with mass attached to a vertical spring. The second order differential equation also can be implemented to solve an electrical circuit containing a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor connected in series. Other example is bond between atom and molecule are often modeled as spring the vibrate as described as this same differential equation. That's all from us. Thank you.